What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Reem Bean here. I just got back from the flea market. It's about 9, 30, 10 in the morning. Uh, I won't post this video until later on today. Uh, I just kind of want to go over some of the pickups that I got throughout the week. Uh, so I think it's the second episode that I got of this series where I'm, I'm going to start doing more pickup videos uh, before I put the stuff in the room where it's going to go permanently. Uh, to show you what I got throughout the week, what I paid for it, uh, these are not my eBay pickups. Uh, if you check that series out, those are a completely different thing. These are thrift stores, Goodwill, uh, Salvation Army, flea markets, yard sales, that sort of thing. It's not yard sale season, but and I tell you the bad news. Um, I ordered some spy glasses uh, through eBay. I got them in, and they are fucking terrible. It pissed me off. They are such shit quality. I'm, I'm in the process of returning those. Uh, so hopefully, I got some more coming in. Y'all can actually see me do some of this hunting. Uh, hopefully soon before the season really kicks off. But let's go over some of these here. All right, first one we got is uh, Invasion, uh, or I'm sorry, Invasion from Beyond. I paid two dollars for this. This was at a thrift store, just kind of hidden. Uh, in with the music CDs. Look, look. When anytime you go to a thrift store in the music CDs, they usually don't know what the hell they got. Uh, but this one got a broke jewel case, but it's complete. This looks good. I'm not worried about a jewel case. I mean, God Almighty. Uh, two bucks, not terrible. Six, seven dollar game. Uh, this is some very high end games here that I got from another thrift store. Uh, first off, we got Sesame Street. Uh, <laughs> Elmo's as a A to Zoo adventure. Uh, you know that I collect shitty Wii games. You can actually see it here. And I'll tell you some, a big update that's about to happen. I'm running out of room again in this room, so I'm thinking about taking all my Wii games and putting them in the actual bedroom with a 360, Xbox One, PS4, Switch, Wii U games, all that, uh, to make room. So that'll give me another shelf. So there's another shitty Wii game to go right right there with it. And at least it's, I don't know, I'm not going to play this. I paid a dollar for it. Uh, but I also did get GoldenEye 007, the remake. Uh... I didn't hear this one was that great, uh, but I paid a buck for these two. Uh, so they're about $10 a piece. Not terrible. Uh, just games, you know, for the collection. I'm happy about GoldenEye. I'll try it. I'm a big fan of this N64 version. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Actually, I think that is it for the thrift store good was. I don't think I had a good week for her, but I got bags here from the flea market today. So let's go over some of that. Um... First up here we got, for the PC, and you know I don't collect PC games unless A, it's only on PC or it just looks really good, but uh, Fallout Tactics. Uh, very cool. I got this uh, for three bucks. Uh, missing the manual, but I'm, I'm okay with that. This will be good decoration for my Fallout chef. You know, I got my shrines. I got my Zelda shrine, Fallout shrine, uh, and then if you, this, this will look good with it. Um, three bucks, I'm happy with that. I don't normally buy PC games, but I had to get that one. Uh, let's see... I paid, well, let me find the bundle because I got both of these together at once. Uh, and that's the thing, people. Bundle your stuff together. You'll usually get a lot better deal than you would uh, without doing so. There it is. All right. Uh, let's see here. We got Hercules for the Game Boy and Ultra Bust Move. You can see the $5 uh, sticker on there. I, I don't pay sticker price. I'm a haggler. Uh, I paid six for the pair, uh, so I think yeah, she wanted five for she wanted three for that. I, I paid six. I'm happy with that. This is another original Xbox game that I do not have, uh, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I got a shit ton of them. Uh, so, and I'm a big Bust Move fan, so is my wife. So that's kind of cool to get. Uh, this one is complete. This looks great. I'm happy with it. And as far as original Game Boy games go, that's another one that I did not have. I'm happy to get that one. So that's cool. All right, now the rest of the stuff. Well, actually. There's a buddy of mine that I come across at the flea market, and uh, he knows that I'm in modding and uh, working on these game gears, and he knows that I'll do cat replacements, and I asked him if he had any spare game gears that don't work that he could give me uh, so I can start busting some mods out for him, and he delivered. Uh, he gave me three of them here, and I told him that I would get one recapped and, you know, uh, working good for him, which I already got one. I got one that's already been done. I'll just give him that one. Uh, so I got three uh, game gears. Uh... One of them had a game in there. It was Super Columns, nothing special. But one thing that he gave me that was awesome that I did not have was the Blue Game Gear. A uh, little beat up. It has like a $40 tag on it. He, did, he didn't charge me anything for this. He said I can keep this one as long as I give him one that's working good, which I got. Uh, very happy about this one. I'm going to soup this one up, make it look nice, play nice. Uh, I'm happy to have that one. I do not have that version. You know, I, I'm big in collecting Game Gear. Uh, the last things that I got are a 360 lot. This guy, I was lucky the... He was putting this stuff out on the table. I saw he had a shit ton. I mean, he had a 
box full, a big tote box full of 360 games. And I just stood there while he was putting them out, kind of picked out what I wanted. I got first dibs on them. Um, I don't know how many 360 games I got somewhere in, in the uh, ballpark, 150 to 180, I don't know. Uh, but we'll go over some of the ones that I got here. I think I paid for all these $30. I want to say 30 Um uh, and two games, well, one game pays for almost all that. Uh, and I'll show you which one that is. And this is getting, uh, it's not uncommon, but it's still just, it's just a pricier game. It's somewhere between $20 to $30, I'd say. I've seen it go for either one. Uh, the Simpsons game for the 360 for this or PS3, it's a pricier game. Uh, so I'm happy. I did not have this one. I had it for PS2, but I don't want it on PS2. I want it on Xbox. So very cool to get that one up definitely be a keeper uh this is one that i have but i think uh it's not bad for a resell as alien colonial marines terrible game but the alien franchise uh is up there uh this is an upgrade for me it's the fallout game of the year edition which i have but it's the fucking gamestop uh package which is terrible so this will be an upgrade it'll look good it'll finally be what i need uh happy about that Fear 3, which I don't think that I have. Now, this is another bad thing. There's another tip that I can do. If you're going out and you paying some decent prices, like he started out, I think, like five a piece, but I bundled everything together. Uh, take a picture of what you have, like your whole sets, and zoom in on it if, if you're unfamiliar. I did not do that with the 360, so I'm not 100% if I have Fear 3 or not. Hopefully, I don't. Um, let's see. Lego Jurassic Park. Uh, what is loose in there? Is there a Lego? No, it's the damn... Huh, it also comes with Lego Batman 3. You can't make that up, that's alright. Uh, the Lego series is not my favorite, but we'll keep you on the side. Sometimes you get extra games in there too, how about that? Uh, let's see, we got Chrome Hounds. Uh, another one that I did not have. This is like a tank shooter up kind of thing. Uh, none of, the only downside, none of these games are complete. None of them have the manuals. Um, that's alright. Uh, let's see, we got Lord of the Rings Conquest, so that's pretty cool. Another one that I didn't have. These are mainly, like I said, just stuff that I did not have. These are the reasons that I picked them up. Uh, Earth Defense Insect Armageddon, which I don't think I got. I think I got Earth Defense 2025. Uh, I hope, because this, this is a cool series. If you've never played Earth Defense, it's very cool. You fight ginormous bugs uh, with a multitude of weapons. Very cool. Uh, and then the Devil May Cry HD Collection series. Anytime you find any HD series out there, like the Silent Hill, pick them up. They're usually worth something. Uh, Devil May Cry, I'm not the hugest fan of, uh, you know, PlayStation style games. I got all those, you know, original PlayStation, but I want to keep for the 360. HC, it looks good, plays better. Uh, but that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this week's pickups. Uh, hopefully next week's going to be something. I'm not off the weekend, so hopefully I can get some good Goodwill, thrift store, flea market finds. Or not flea market finds, my wife will go. Hopefully she finds me some goodies. She has before. But I hope you all like this video, and take care with the rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching.